the next time any of you decide to see a show at the Yonder Theater, be sure to take a moment to thank our funder for opening it up. All right, I think that's everything we needed to cover today. I'm going to let all of you go a little early. Remember, the next time we meet, you'll be showing everyone your scene presentation, so be sure to meet with your partners and practice before the next class. More details are on the board if you need them. Hmm? Hey, are you my partner? Hi. Y you might already know this, but I'm Theo. It's nice to meet you. I'd shake your hand, but I have no idea where you're standing. You don't make very much noise when you walk. It's your shoes? <laughs> Soft soles. You're practically invisible to me, then. So, uh, do you know which short scene we're supposed to be doing for this presentation? I know we're being assigned a scene from a famous play, I just don't know which one. Oh, Fallen Grace, I like that one! I actually own one of the braille copies back at home, that's, that's great! I don't know which scene we're doing, but I'll be happy to do any of them. Have you read it? Oh, well, it's it's like a v gothic Victorian family drama slash forbidden romance. There's a musical, too, but I, I doubt we're doing the musical. And I guess you'll probably be playing Sir Deacon. I'll probably be playing Finley. Well, basically, you're a royal guard, I'd be your prince, and we're in love. A forbidden love. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> this is all assuming we actually have those parts. It's also possible we just have a short scene where we kick barrels or something, I don't know. Yeah, sure, we can definitely meet up sometime and read through it then. When would you like to meet? It would be a little easier if you could come to my place, but I can come visit yours if need be. Of course I can. Hey, I walk to class every morning, I can manage a trip across campus. You'll stop by my place? Okay. Let me know when, and I'll get some snacks ready. Call me, though. Don't text me. Can you add your info on my phone? Thank you. I'm going to trust you put your actual number there, not someone else's. <laughs> Sorry, it, it, it's just happened before. Some people think it's funny to punch in the wrong number onto my phone because I can't double check to make sure they actually put a number in. You don't strike me as that kind of person though. You seem nice. I trust a little too easily. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Is it so wrong to want to expect the best from people though? Okay. Um, so you'll stop sometime by my place this week then? You're right. Until then. Hey, welcome to my humble abode. Hmm? What's this? It feels like a warm tray? Lasagna? Oh, you made lasagna? That's very kind of you. How'd you know? Great. In that case, we'll have enough food for supper and dessert while we rehearse. <laughs> You're so sweet. Uh, anyway, come in. It's the same layout as all the other dorms, so I don't think I need to show you around. But the bathroom is that way, and the kitchen's over there, and my room is there. Oh, yeah. I also don't have a roommate. My last roommate dropped out of the program and left about a month in, so I've just been living out here on my lonesome. Back home, I had a cat, but they wouldn't let him into the apartment without confirmation that he was a therapy animal. Oh, damn, I, I rambled again. Sorry. Uh, please, stop me if it ever gets annoying. Hmm? Oh, yeah, I put together a bowl of snacks and stuff. I didn't know what you liked, so I just threw together everything I had. <laughs> I'm gonna grab some plastic forks. Do you have your script with you? Well, I got the email from Miss B. She 
said we had a choice of either doing Act 1, Scene 6, or Act 3, Scene 4. Which would you rather do? Hmm? Oh! Yeah, she actually sends me voice messages instead of written emails, which is really sweet of her. I know most teachers wouldn't go out of their way to do that, so I really appreciate it. So, do you have a preference? Well, which of the two scenes did you like more? Uh, wait, you, you've read the play, right? That silence is telling me you haven't. <laughs> no, 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 it's okay, it's all right. I can just guide you through the whole thing. It's one of my favorite plays ever anyway, so I don't mind. What do you want to know? Well, the scene from Act 1 is a meeting between our characters. We haven't seen each other in a long time, and you sneak into my room in the middle of the day. While well, Act 3 is a proclamation of love. By then, our families have forbidden us from meeting, but I sneak out of my house to meet you by the river at night, and we basically spill the beans and kiss. It's adorable when you read it. I, I mean, I'm okay with doing a romance scene if you are. You seem pretty chill. I wouldn't mind. I, I think it would be pretty fun, actually. Just... Um... Do you have a partner? No? Uh, okay. No, 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 no. Me, me, no, me neither. Well, in any case, we don't actually have to kiss for real. Let's just see how we're feeling about the scene first. I left my book somewhere on the table. Ah, here it is. Yeah, look, it's the entire play transcribed in Braille. My mom got it for me as a birthday gift. Yeah, it holds a special place in my heart. When I was a kid, mom used to cuddle with me and read me bedtime stories. I miss those days a lot. Well, I guess you could say it made me appreciate books a lot. Kind of ironic, isn't it? Well, it's not just books. I like music, too. And audiobooks. Though the songs in the musical Fallen Grace aren't the best, but I like listening to music a lot in my spare time. Whenever I want to just, you know, relax or just occupy my thoughts. Oh, really? Well, maybe I can show you my playlist sometime then? If you'd like to hang out at a class too? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, that, that would be amazing. Thank you so much. Let me know how you're feeling then, because I quite literally have a playlist ready for every mood. It took years of blood, sweat, and IT departments to help put them together. <laughs> Thank you, though. I... I appreciate that a lot. So... Do you have your part open? Okay. Stage directions. Finley is sitting downstairs. Downsta downstage. Downstage! <laughs> Sorry. Right. Head bowed. He is sobbing. Right. Yeah, let's worry about stage directions later. Just read the lines for now. Good idea. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, you noticed. Well, Finley is blind, go figure, so Deacon will always say their little code phrase to let them know it's him. Finley, oh, Finley, is it my gloom pot? Yeah, it's really sweet. They have this little call for each other, so he knows it's safe. I always thought that was so cute. Anyway, we have to make it sound convincing because these two have said this phrase a lot, so it's an everyday thing for them. Now, should I do a franchise scene? I can't believe I'm actually going on a date with him. Down by the beach, no less. How does it get any more romantic than that? I mean, the beach certainly sounds lovely. 
I just hope it looks as good as it sounds. Man, this entire thing has just been such a blessing. First we get to perform a play I really enjoy, and then the boy I'm working with turns out to be so sweet. Well, I hope I look nice. I wish I could see how he looked. If I asked to pet his face, I wonder if he would understand. It's literally my only way of getting a vague idea of what he looks like. People will either be super understanding or creeped out when I ask that question. Should I do it? Darn it. I really, really don't want to mess this up. Come on, Theo. Get it together. You both agreed to do this. You both want to be here. Is my cane close by? Oh shoot, where did I leave it? Did it fall over? Uh, oh, yeah. Here it is. Huh? Oh my... <laughs> you scared me. I didn't hear you coming. <laughs> Soft souls. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Goodness me, you gave me a heart attack. Hi! Where, where are you? Can I give you a hug? Whoa! Or you could... Give me one. Uh, hi. Yeah, I, I waited for you. Oh, no, 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 it's okay. You didn't keep me waiting long. I'm glad you came here, really. Sunglasses? <laughs> yeah, my, my eyes are super sensitive to the sun, so I have to wear these anytime I go outside, otherwise I get a headache. <laughs> nope, not even lack of sight can save you from the cruel UV rays of the sun. But hey, take solace in the fact the sun's rays hate everyone equally, not just you. Anyway... So, we're going for a walk? In which way are we going? If you're pointing somewhere, I can't see it. <laughs> ah, this way, okay. <sighs> Wow, the breeze feels really nice. It's cool and the waves sound really nice too. I'm sure the water is frigid though. I mean, it makes sense with winter just right around the corner. The shoreline will be pretty quiet soon. It will be months before anyone will go down here again. The beach will be pretty quiet. But as soon as the ice melts, it'll go right back to buzzing. And maybe then I'll finally be able to try some beachside ice cream. Oh my gosh, I've been meaning to try the ice cream stalls here at the beach, but I just never got around to it during the summer, and... Well, now they're closed. <laughs> For the winter. Mom says it's almost as old as her. <laughs> it's where she and Dad met. So it holds some sentimental value, I guess. His favorite flavor was pistachio. It was better than it sounds, uh... According to him. Do you like ice cream? Well, um, it... I mean, as far as second dates go, it wouldn't be a bad idea during the summer. Maybe. If you'd like. Hmm? You don't think it would be our second date? Uh, oh, you're, you're making me blush. That was just really sweet. Oh, you made my heart go like thump. Hmm? Are we sitting down? Oh, there's a bench here, okay. So, you wanted to hear all the songs? Well, okay, what mood are you feeling? Oh, uh, okay. Well, sure, here, t take an earbud. It, it should be charged. Tell me if it's in awareness mode or not. No? Okay, good. Shuffle recreation playlist. Hey, 
Can you tell me what it looks like? The environment. Where we're sitting. What do the colors look like? Well, people tell me the colors are a lot like certain feelings. They're the things you picture in your head when certain things happen, like... Like, heat will make you think of what everyone calls red. The cold wind will make you imagine what a lot of people say is blue. Being happy makes me imagine what I think is yellow, and so on. The sky is orange and gray? Um, okay, okay, that's interesting to imagine. Orange, like, content orange? Maybe? <laughs> okay. Okay, what else? There's water? <laughs> you don't say. And the clouds? Well, what do the clouds look like? Fluffy? Shaped like a duck? <laughs> wow, okay. I'll take your word for it. <laughs> Anything else? There's a cute boy on the beach? Oh, really? Uh, where? Ah! Oh, you put your arm around me. It feels warm. Thanks. This feels really nice. You're sweet. Um... Hey... Can I ask you something? I, I know it might sound weird, but please bear with me. Um, we've been spending a lot of time together, but I don't know what you look like. Like, this whole time I've sort of imagined how you looked based on your voice and your mannerisms. Still, if, if it's okay with you... Could I touch your face? Just, like, feel you? If that makes sense. If that's okay. Really? Okay. Where is your face? Can you guide me? Uh, there you are. Wow. <laughs> this is amazing. I can feel your facial hairs. It's nothing like I imagined, but, but in a good way. <laughs> that that probably sounded weird. I just I think about you a lot. Oh, and your hair. Wow. So soft. I could run my fingers through it all afternoon. Oh, and your ears? Hmm. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Now I know what you look like. Thanks for pairing with me. I hope that wasn't too unpleasant. You didn't mind? I'm glad. Well, um, then... I liked it when you had your arm around me. That felt really nice. There it is. Hmm. Thanks. It's raining outside. On the very edge of winter. That means it's probably freezing rain. Jeez. Oh, I hope he makes it here okay. Mm. 
Maybe I should go. Oh! Hello? Oh, it's you! Yes, yes, come in. Oh, God, I was so worried about you. Hmm? Wait. What's that noise? Are you wearing heavier shoes than usual? Oh, no, 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 I, I don't mind at all. I'm, I'm just, I'm used to you being as silent as the grave, but, but well, I can hear you. I, I can tell where you are. This, this is a first. Wow, <laughs> your, your walking pattern is so distinct. That'll make it easier to d figure out which person is you in a small crowd. Oh, you'd be surprised how easy it is to recognize people by their audible habits. The way they walk, the way they open doors, the way they put glasses down after drinking. It's a science. <laughs> anyway, ready to practice one more time? Come on, we've got this nailed down by now. I think we could do this in our sleep. Oh, but before that, would you like a drink? Maybe something hot? I bet you can use one after that walk here. You're fine? Well, I'm making one for myself, at least. I'm cold as heck in here, so feel free to borrow the pot. <sighs> okay. I think I'm ready now. So, where did we leave off? Right, okay. We can't see each other anymore, Deacon. My parents know now. They know everything. I know not how, but they have discovered our secret. And now I fear they shall punish you for going behind their backs. I could not bear such a thing. What you ask is... It, it is no small thing. Are you sure you are prepared? Wait. Please. Do not be hasty. I can't... Oh, uh, this is the part where I'm supposed to reach out to you. Is it alright if I put my arms on your shoulder now? Okay. Uh, there you are. Uh, hey. Uh, um, right, anyway. I... I... Mm, I... <laughs> can't go on without you by my side. If something were to happen... I couldn't... I couldn't... Uh, your line is next. Hello? You're distracted. By what? This feels nice? What does? Oh, oh, you mean being this close. I mean, yeah, it, it does. I like it when you put your arms around me. Um. Uh. Hey. Uh. I I know we're getting into the moment and all, but you're. You're supposed to kiss me after your next line. It says it in script. Right here. You can't read Braille, but um that, that that's what it says. Well, yeah, we we could just do a stage kiss, you're right. No. Honestly, I wouldn't mind if we, I mean, did it for real. Yeah, 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 it's for the scene, you know? We, we need to... <sighs> Screw it. I want you to kiss me. I'm too scared to ask, okay? Please, can you... Can you just... <laughs> Again. Mm. One more time. Mm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Your lips feel 
was so nice. I, uh... To be honest, I... I wasn't sure if you swung that way. But I'm so, so happy I finally got to kiss you. You like me? Oh! Okay. Uh, it's, it's so surreal hearing you say it out loud. It, it feels nice. Really, really nice. Uh, it makes me so happy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Wait, are you kicking your feet around? You must be really happy. Um, then... Maybe we can date for real? And see how it feels? I'd like that a lot. <laughs> You'll have to warn me when you're about to kiss me, though. I, I, sometimes I can't hear you coming and you make me jump. <laughs> no, 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 it's okay. You didn't know. It's, it's a learning process. I understand. <sighs> wow. To think. I'm gonna be your boyfriend. I'm gonna be your boyfriend. <laughs> that makes me really happy. <laughs> then... <sighs> Can I say it? Okay. I love you. You love me too? Thank you.